Hi, everyone. It's Amanda coming to you from Italy. It's our usual Saturday Night Live. It is as hot as Hades here. Can't even begin to tell you. I had to put off the light behind me, so I hope this is good enough because it was just too hot. I couldn't bear it. Uh, as it is, I'm going to be fanning myself nonstop with my lovely ethnic African fan. Uh, I can't even tell you how hot it is. I'm going to wait a few minutes for everyone to reach us so that uh, our live audience who usually join us from around the world can join us. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and we get together every Saturday evening for a live like this to talk about life, to talk about what's happening in Italy because I'm coming to you from Italy, if you haven't realized that yet and you're new here. Um, welcome if you're new here. Lovely to have everybody. We're going to have a live audience. We're going to have a good, great chat. Tonight is about top five for life. So if you watched last Saturday, I did my top five for life Italian. I couldn't just do five perfumes in my life. It was just too difficult with my collection. So I decided to do top five Italian, which I did last week. Hello, Roderick. Welcome. You joined us right on time. Uh, so last week I did top five Italian, and this week I'm doing top five French. I might sneak an extra few in there because it's really, really difficult to just do five, as you can imagine. But I've tried to keep it as short and sweet as possible. So I've just gone on Instagram and announced that we're starting the live, so I'll give everybody a few minutes to come to the room. This week has been super, 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 let's say, difficult and really full and lots of things going on. Apart from the fact that it's been 40 degrees every day, drinking my ice water as usual. Um, Apart from that, I mean, it may, might seem that I'm at the lake and in beautiful locations and doing whatever, but I post a very small part of my actual life. I think sometimes social media, as I posted this week on Instagram, can be quite misleading because you just see the best parts of people's lives, a tiny snapshot of what they actually do in a day, and that's certainly true for me. I mean, I have, you know... A lot going on in my life. Um, there are bills to pay, there's articles to write, there's stuff to do, there's my house to keep, there's my life to upkeep, like most of you. So those little golden moments that you see on social media, I'm not a socialite, I'm not drifting around, nobody pays my bills other than me, that is. So that's just a snapshot of my life. But this week was super, super... Um, I don't know. It was kind of a mixed bag. Let me start with the beginning while we wait for everyone to join us. Uh, it started off where those of you who've been watching me for a while, I don't really share my private life on social media. I don't, and on YouTube neither. I mean, obviously, some things I share, I share what's going on, um, the major themes, but. Um, if you've been watching me for some time this year, you probably know that my son's had major operations. Um, I think he's on number seven operation. Danny, hello, darling. I'm so thrilled Danny's joining us from Canada and Roderick's here from New York. So what I was saying is this year has been super, super, super kind of difficult in a way and you know what you see on social media those little snapshots are just a tiny part of my life like most of us but I try not to share my private life on YouTube because well first of all it's my business and nobody else's but also because you may be more interested in seeing what I have to say about perfume or life in general or what Italy's about than, than me telling you the details of my life but nevertheless if you've watched me for some time you'll know that my son is waiting for a, a kidney transplant he has been in a very critical state 
about four times this year and had various major operations. The last one was the last two weeks. He's been in intensive care. And so my, my mind has been there. My energy has been there. My thoughts have been there. And the good news is having dealt with the same team for some time, I wasn't particularly thrilled about what they were achieving with him. There were lots of things that weren't actually being done according, we, we, we weren't going anywhere. We, we certainly weren't achieving what he should have done to improve his condition and make his life more bearable. Anyway, long story short, um, he had to have a re, you know, his line, he has a line, a dialysis line, he's on dialysis three or four times a week, and his dialysis line has been moved. They tried to put it in his arm. It was a mess. The vascular surgeon messed it up. That was about, I think, two or three months ago. It was a major surgery, 12 hours. Anyway, he basically went to a different teaching hospital, uh, a new team, and they had a second look at him. I had advised him a long time, please go and get a second opinion. He's very loyal. He didn't want to, to upset his the specialist. Anyway. Uh, so there's a whole team. There's a nephrologist. There's a cardi cardiac person. There's a vascular surgeon. There's a whole team. Okay. And anyway, he went to the new hospital, had his surgery. Once again, I was on my knees as I have been praying that everything would go uh, well. And thank goodness that happened. And he's in a much better way. He's, in my opinion, getting much better care simply because he got that second opinion. So that's a great relief. And for the first time, I could say in about two or three years, I know that he's going to be taken care of. So that is wonderful because when I'm earning my 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 living, I, I'm not running around. I'm not a socialite. I have to pay my bills like everyone else. Uh, that's always in the back of my mind. You know how precious your family is to you, and it's the same for me. Uh, and living so far away from my children, you know, presents its challenges, as you can imagine. So anyway, that's the good news. And so I started this week feeling quite upbeat and quite happy. And, um, and then this weekend discovered that somehow... With all the crisis in Europe, gas prices have gone through the roof. By gas, I don't mean, look, we have an, an international audience. I don't mean petrol that you put in your car. Hello, Danny. My heart is with you, Amanda. Sorry to hear that. May God bless you and protect him. Thank you, Danny. Thank you for your thoughts and prayers. And he is on the mend. So I'm extremely happy to report that. But it's been a very stressful two years. Okay, so everybody's talking about these gas prices in Europe, and by gas, I mean natural gas that you use in your house for heating and cooking and all of that. So it's freezing cold in winter here. We're near the Alps, so we have to have heating. Even though it's sizzling hot in Italy in summer, that doesn't mean it doesn't get cold in winter. So I have that. It's set on about 18. I don't like a very hot house, and I have a fire you know, if I want a wood fire in the evening. But anyway, long story short, I was getting these horrendously high gas bills. By horrendously high, I mean 700 euro. I mean, it was unbelievable. Anyway, I couldn't take it anymore. So I phoned them up and I said, look, there's something terribly wrong. Either something is wrong with the meter uh, that my bills are resulting from or something's happened. Anyway, long story short, la, la, la. End result, they came and they shut off the gas because they said there must be a leak. Well, okay, so they shut the gas off. That was on Thursday, so I've been without gas, which is no big tragedy when it's this hot. I mean, it is literally, as I speak to you, 40 degrees in the shade, 40 degrees Celsius, that is, not 40 degrees Fahrenheit. It's, it's well into the hundreds in Fahrenheit. It is sizzling hot, so I don't mind having a cold shower. In fact, I relish having a cold shower. And for cooking, I've, I've made do with, you know, what I had non-gas orientated. So I've been okay this weekend. But I will have to deal with all of that on Monday. And this is my real life in Italy. It's not all champagne and roses and caviar. It, You know, there are beautiful things about my life in Italy. And if you follow me on social media, you'll see that. But I just wanted to tell you, I lead a real life just like you. 
And yeah, this week has been super challenging and I am so enjoying having you guys to chat to and just give a little taste of my life. So here we are, Saturday night, sizzling hot. I'm in my kitchen because it's just too hot up in my studio where I normally film. So this is sort of part of the, this part of my kitchen, which goes over there. Okay, so let's start. Let's start. So if you haven't already, won't you just like the video? And as I mentioned, I'm going to hook up over there last week's, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, which was my top five for life, Italy. This is my top five for life, France. Okay. So number one is this beauty. Now, there's a story behind this, and if you've watched me for some time, you may have watched my video I made about this. This was my first perfume as a teenager, as an 18-year-old, Roderick. Yes, Amanda, sometimes it's tuna fish and cabbage, but you look great tonight, so something's going wrong right. Okay, well, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the compliment. I uh, have zero makeup. I literally put some eye, eye shadow and a bit of mascara. I couldn't bear to put anything else on my face because it is so hot. I will be, I'll be needing perspiration to cool me down. <laughs> it is super hot, but I... Uh, I did have that week a while ago in the sun, so I've got a bit of a tan. So I might obviously get away tonight with having nothing on. So anyway, here we are. A bit of highlight uh, works miracles. Uh, je reviens, which means I will return an absolute beauty. Vado Dobig, oh, hi, from Prague. Uh, thank you for joining us again. We, you're most welcome from Prague. You might have to watch the beginning. So tonight we're doing just, if you've just come in, my name's Amanda. This is our Saturday Live. We're doing top five for life. So you have to choose five perfumes for life. And tonight is the French edition. Last week, I'll hook it over there, was the Italian edition. Tonight, Je means I will return from Worth in Paris, absolutely gorgeous packaging. And that's what it looks like, this beautiful little blue bottle, which I'll take out of the Worth box. Uh, this was my perfume when I was 18, 19, 20, as a single girl. Um, I, I just remember, you know, going into London and buying, you know, a scarf or something and putting this on it so that it would be with me forever it was my signature perfume I couldn't believe when I found it again I was absolutely overjoyed because I adore it it is it's exquisite so it has this embossed little blue glass bottle uh it's not sunlight it's I I've switched off the light behind me because it was just killing me it was so hot so Anyway, there you are. You can see the blue glass bottle. This is a beautiful mixture of roses, uh, freesias, lily of the valley, all my favorite things. It's a gorgeous vintage fragrance uh, made, um, I think, originally in the 50s and even 30s, but this bottle dates from the 70s. Um, they did update it, and I stopped using it because what happened is, uh, I think after many, many little bottles, I had the tiny little bottles because it's all I could afford when I was that age. And they were very precious and I used a very few drops. It wasn't like now, you know, I just spray everything everywhere. It was very precious to me and saved it up. And then suddenly they changed the formula and everything went sideways and they made a sort of, other toilet, this is other perform. They made it under toilet and it was just awful and it was it was a tragedy. I cried buckets about it, but it just didn't exist anymore. And so yeah, I went off it and for all the years I've always wondered, obviously I've fallen in love with other perfumes now. I always wondered if I could ever get a bottle again of that vintage that takes me straight back to all the golden moments, all the special moments. I'm sure you have a perfume like that. All those sentimental moments when you, oh, your first love or your first, I don't know, first date, first dinner out or whatever, first opera, first show. Um, that's what 
je reviens reminds me of and literally means I will return in in it's a very Parisian thing it's very classic and this beauty was not ridiculously expensive even though it's a vintage I got it I might even try and get a backup bottle of it in case it ever goes away and I can never get it again so that's first number one if I have to choose top five French perfumes for life this would probably be one or two so it's number one right now gorgeous gorgeous notes um, I'll write in the description box don't worry if you miss some of the perfumes they will be listed down below so you don't need to worry okay great so that's number one number two is another Parisian house also in the same category the same ilk as beautiful worth perfumes which have been making perfumes since the 30s this is Rosine of Paris now if you've watched any of my rose perfumes you know that I'm a rose passionate I'm a rose maniac I have lots of rose perfumes I've made many rose perfume videos if you want to go and have a look at my back catalog of videos um, so here we are here's Rosini I really adore this as a rose perfume she always comes up in my top five if I do a rose perfume and tonight if I had to choose top five French Rosini would definitely be up there I adore the bottle I adore the classic uh, fragrance oh this is a lipstick rose what does it mean a lipstick rose well if you remember the fragrances that they would put in lipsticks in the 50s and the 60s that's where the term lipstick rose comes from it means it's vintage this is absolutely exquisite the rose just shines. It, it's not astringent. It's not a sour rose. It's not a sharp rose. It's not a vegetal rose. It's not a green rose. It is just pure Parisian class. I absolutely adore it. And I have to tell you a secret. My skin literally eats perfume. And, and hence, I tend to go vintage because I find they have better staying power and they just give better sillage and I just prefer them. And hence, my, my Instagram name is Italy Vintage Perfume. But when I wear this, I get so many compliments. People have followed me and said, what are you wearing? It is too exquisite. And it's Rosine. And this, Rosine make exclusively rose perfumes. They also do one or two Lily of the Valley and a couple maybe of others. But they have a whole range of rose perfumes. And so you need to go and have a look. Rosine of Paris, my absolute darling. The Parfum de Rosine, you can find them on Instagram if you have a look. Or you can just go and look for them. Rosine of Paris. Okay, great. So that is a darling. Highly recommend it. If you love, if you love a classic rose, if you love a romantic rose, it's not cloying, it's not sweet, it's not musky, it doesn't have any of that. It's just rose, rose with lashings of Parisian class and uh, je ne sais quoi. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. So there we are. That's number two. So I said five. I'm going to try my hardest to keep this to five for life from Paris. But forgive me if I might add a few in because we've also got to think about the men in the room. And so I've got two for the men as well. You know, I always, always do that. So number three is a rose that I absolutely adore. While the designer is not French, he's Spanish, Alfonso Domingos. The perfumer is actually French, obviously. Um, I absolutely love this rose. I've covered it in my rose videos. I love the classic uh, vintage bottle. It's very Art Deco. So Alfonso Domingos, again, don't worry if you don't grab the names because in the description box, I'm going to list what I'm reviewing. This is called Rosas de Blancas Frescas. 
So this literally translated from Spanish means fresh white roses. And that's exactly what it smells like. In my garden, I have an antique Alba roses, white, classic from the 1700s. Uh, and this is exactly what they smell like. It is the most true to form. In summer, it's just a beautiful, it's not heady, so I mean, you could bath yourself in it and it's not going to knock anyone out. I adore this in summer. I have a backup bottle, super affordable. Everything I'm reviewing tonight is under 100 for the special worth and Rosini and the others about 50, 40. I don't review uh, perfumes that I can't afford myself. I have to try this one for sure. Which one, Danny? You should definitely try this, uh, Alfonso Domingos. But Rosini, I can't live without it. So anyway, so that's number three. We're moving on because we've got to cover a few more. And then another perfume I absolutely adore uh, from Gra. Obviously, the house is based in Paris, but this comes from Gra in France, uh, where all the herbs and essences and rose oil is produced. This is called Iris and Neroli. So in my Iris edition, which you can also go and find, I'll try to hook it up there, I covered this. In summer, I love this. If you love an Iris and you love a powdery fragrance, this is just beautifully blended. So it uses Neroli, which is orange um, essence usually from Italy. Um, the Neroli gives you the citrus base of it, so it's happy and fresh with that Neroli. And then the iris comes in. So it's it's more cologne than the other three I've just reviewed, but it's got great staying power. It's super fresh for summer if you like something powdery and clean and fresh. But the iris, the beautiful iris root lingers. Hello, Anne. Lovely you joined us. We are number five already. Yeah, you'll have to watch the beginning because we've the we've I've covered my my three favorites already and I don't want to go back. Um, so you'll have to watch back. We we're doing five for life French edition. So this is Iris and Neroli. It's from Jean Provence, by the way. Can't go wrong with this house. I have various of their fragrances, but that's that's the Iris and Neroli box. Jean et Provence, and as I say, I will, in the description box, if you're looking, you will find it. Okay, so that's Iris and Neroli. Love the bottle too, very sort of classic, um, vintage-y looking bottle. So I promised, having on number four already, that I would do something for the men. Now, since I have to only choose five for my whole life, I have to tell you that... This is a complete classic. I've always loved it. One of my very first boyfriends wore it back in the in the eighties. Oh gosh, this is so nice. This is um, Bernard Chant, one of my favourite noses in the world. Obviously based in Paris, he's French. Bernard Chant, Bernard Chant. I made Aromatique, he's made lots of the classics that are huge hits, and Aramis 900 is his baby. It's in this very vintage bottle, and for the men, it was, it's, a, it's a man's perfume. I happen to love it because it's in my rose collection. It's a rose for men. It's stunning. On the beginning, there's a little bit of the, you can, obviously, there's oak moss in it, there's patchouli, there's rose, there's all those classic elements of a good Bernard Charm perfume. But for the money that you pay for this gorgeous vintage, you cannot go wrong with this fragrance. I highly suggest you get it. That's what the box looks like, Aramis 900. Uh, this particular says... Herbal Eau de Cologne Spray Vaporateur. And I don't know which, I think it says it's made in France. Yes. An addictive herbal fragrance that embodies tradition with a dash of the unexpected. I couldn't have put it better myself. Gorgeous. So it has a little bit of every element that you wish, but the thread that runs through this, and it's not sweet, it's not feminine. I just happen to love it because it's one of my favorite roses. 
is this gorgeous, um, this unexpected rose that keeps sort of going up to the surface. But the bottom has those masculine notes in it, so it's not sweet, but it's it's beautiful. So there we are. Men, that's for you. Then I'm going to do a unisex. This is actually number five. Super affordable. Remember, we're keeping this affordable. If I wanted to choose five super expensive niche of French perfumes, that would be a different story. But this is all affordable. I always do affordable. So I'm going to do a recap for those of you who missed the first bit. So don't worry. I always do a recap at the end. Cabotine Gold, you probably know Cabotine Green or maybe Cabotine Pink. This is from Grey, the House of Grey. I mean, I've done some real classic houses tonight. The House of Worth, the House of Rosine, the House of Grey, can't go wrong. This is, for me, a unisex. It's designed for women, but it's super, super, super good for both sexes. What I love about this and what keeps it from going to the sweetie side is it has vetiver on the base notes and I love vetiver this for me is like a summer scent uh, at the beach or on a boat uh, drifting on a blue ocean with happiness and sunshine this for me just gives happiness and sunshine you cannot go wrong you could probably get this for under 30 euro maybe even 25 I don't know um, but super affordable. You cannot go wrong with Grace. And this is super, this is one of the exclusive range, is the gold. It came out uh, a bit after the classic uh, Cabotine. You cannot go wrong with Grace. They make world-class perfumes and super affordable from Paris. So I suggest you have a look at Cabotine Gold. And as I mentioned, for me, it's unisex. It might say that it's feminine. Anyway, the box looks like that, like all cabotine gray, okay? Uh, and it's uh, a de toilette, okay? That's, um, can't recommend it enough. So I'm going to do one more for the boys, and then I'm going to start wrapping this up and do a recap for you. So this is lavender vetiver, very classic, in this very, very classic um bottle that I'm going to show you. This is Jean de Provence, the same people that make this, same perfumer, Jean de Provence from Gras in France. But this is a beautiful, look at this chunky, gorgeous bottle. Isn't this lovely for a gentleman's closet? I think it's stunning with the lavender and vetiver label. Super, super, super classic male fragrance. Reminds me a little bit of the dream of Versace because it has the, the lavender and the, the gorgeous, gorgeous mix of notes. Has the vetiver to keep it lovely at the end and fresh. Super lovely. I'd love a man to smell like this. It's gorgeous. In this heavy green glass chunky bottle. So that's also Jean de Provence. And then last, 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 I'm going to do a cologne because we've done some real beauty classic perfumes. This is uh, Peony and Rhubarb. This is Bedouets who make amazing fragrances. They have their big bottle classic, their niche range, which are in the hundreds. But this is super affordable. And there's a whole line of these of different ones. You can go and look at them. This is Bedouets uh, from Paris. And this is the other toilet, and it's rhubarb, which I love, and peony. Super fresh, just for spritzing when you come in from shopping or, I don't know, whenever, just to keep the heat away. Okay, so I'm going to do a recap, lovely ones. Okay, are you ready? Mm. So if you didn't watch the, uh, the start of the video, gosh, this cold water is life-saving at the moment. I don't know how hot it is where you are. Drop down in the comments and let me know. Okay, so let me just give you a recap. Um, at the beginning of the video, I mentioned how difficult my week was. You can go back and watch what happened. And uh, But anyway, I'm here and I'm happy to be with you. Number one on the list was, uh, I'm going to read back your comments when I get a moment. 
Anne is joining us from Dublin. Danny is joining us from Canada. We have people from Europe, Valvo, and we have Roderick from New York. So lovely to have you all. Don't forget to like the video. Do it right now. You might forget. I really need your likes. And if you're new, please think of subscribing. I, I would really appreciate that. Lovely to have you. So number one was Je Reviens of Worth. As I mentioned, my first perfume ever as a young girl, as a young lady, 18, 19, 20, this was my perfume. And then I had a gap and then I found it again. Absolutely adore it. It's a classic. has lovely rose and it was my signature scent for I don't know how many years. And then they changed it, but I found a vintage bottle, and I, I'm so in love with it. So this is worth a very famous French house from Paris, and this is called Jarevain's I Will Return, and I certainly did return. So that was number one on my top five for life. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read now because apparently some people know some of these fragrances. So number two is Rosine. From Rosini di Paris, Roses di Rosine. There's Rosini. You can have a look at it there. But again, I'm going to list these in the drop down menu in the description box if you get lost. A lipstick rose, a beautiful, heady, classic rose. People always comment, people always compliment me, even though generally I wear vintage perfumes because my skin just eats perfume. This is huge staying power. It's not overpowering. It's classic French. It's romantic. It's it's just it oozes charm and Parisianness. So you should give that a try. Number three is a perfume I adore and love in summer, and I wear it a lot in summer. Alfonso Dominguez, a Spanish uh, designer, fashion designer. I adore this. This is called Fresh. White roses, adore it. Roses blancas frescas. Uh, again, I listed in the description box. Uh, the perfumer is Parisian, obviously, even if the designer is Spanish. Love it, can't be without it in summer. It's the best money you'll ever spend. I think I paid, I've got the handbag size, little classic art deco bottle like this in this soft apricot glass, absolutely stunning. Cannot go wrong with this fragrance. You will fall in love with it. Everybody I've recommended it to has fallen in love with it. That's number three. Then for summer days like now when you're just absolutely melting and you want something clean and powdery and fresh and not clingy, the gorgeous Nerali and Iris, Iris and Nerali from Jean de Provence, this house out of grass. Paris based, but this these fragrances are made in grass where they grow all the lavender, the rose essences, all the flowers to get the essences for the Parisian perfumes. Iris and Neroli, Iris and Neroli, lovely fresh uh, uh, orange blossom from the Neroli, and then the lovely clean iris and orris root, very expensive ingredients in a super affordable summer. Love the classic bottle too. Okay, then I did one for the men, Aramis 900, Conquer Wrong, classic Bernard Chant, my favorite nose in the perfume world, made this absolutely beautiful fragrance. I wear it, it's a male perfume, but for what it for what it's worth, I wear it and I adore it and wouldn't be without it for one second. Okay. Made by Aramis, made by um, Bernard Chant, who was the nose. Lovely rose, uh, but a classic male fragrance with oak moss and a million ingredients, labdanum, uh, everything that I adore. But... This golden thread of the rose, it's a male rose if you're looking for a male rose. But hey, you can wear it whatever sex you are. Then I did a summer freshie, which is this Bedouin's um, peony and rhubarb. Love it because it's super fresh. Bedouin's also have an exclusive collection of various fragrances, but this is the outer toilet. And then a super classic grey which 
is marketed to women that is for me it's unisex and it's stunning look at it oh it's just gorgeous has vetiver has lovely 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 fresh summer it's such a gorgeous fragrance it's alluring it's happy it's everything and it's super super affordable look at that gorgeous bottle that's from Grey in Paris. Then another one for the men, this gorgeous chunky bottle with lavender and vetiver, a classic kind of cologne fragrance. Um, comes in this classic bottle. It de toilette per home. Jean de Provence, the same one as the Iris and Nerily, the same house. Can't go wrong. Super affordable. It's a spray. It's not a splash. Uh, yeah, what can I say? All my favorites. So there we are. I do a little lineup. Mm. So I've gone a bit over the five for life. There's probably, I don't know, six or seven or even eight for life. But anyway, there we are. There they all are, all lined up. You can go back and watch the beginning and I'll tell you more details about it. This is just the recap. And there's the other one. I'll put that there. So you can just have a little look at how beautiful they are. And, yeah, that was my Five for Life, the Parisian edition, the French edition. But as I say, if you didn't watch last week, you can I'll hook it up there. You can go watch the Italian edition, my Five Italian. So what's next? Let me read some of these messages. I have to try this one. Anne, hi, Amanda and everyone. I must go back and check. Okay. I just got Cabotine EDP this week, and I love it. Oh, super. Thrilled. Wonderful. I'm so pleased. I love influencing people to buy perfume, especially when it doesn't break the bank, and I only review affordable perfume. Hi, Anne. Hi, Danny. Yes, if I... Yes, I have Aqua from Jean de Provence. Aqua's gorgeous. Uh, Vada from Prague says... My retracted mag said that I'd love to wear men's fragrances and that anyone can wear, I agree, anyone can wear whatever they like. From the mouth of Anne in Dublin, couldn't agree more. This is one of my favorites. It's a male perfume. I wear Versace, the dreamer, sometimes because I find it so unique and amazing. And we can wear whatever we want. But I sometimes just like to do some male colognes because some men are classic and they like to have male colognes. So great collection, Amanda. Thank you so much. So I want to keep the short and sweet. I mentioned last week, and I'll mention again, I'm looking at whether if we change this on Sunday, it would be easier for some people. For me, it probably would be easier on Sunday evening because I have less on. And if you think it might be easier for you, when you drop down in the comments and let me know your top five for life, won't you just mention if you would prefer Saturday or Sunday? I've been asking this for a few weeks and I'd really like to know. So like the video, why don't you? Thank you for joining us. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love you to subscribe. Thank you for joining. Thank you for all your wishes and prayers for my son and for my upcoming visit. What I neglected to say was in the next uh, month, well, basically toward the end of this month, I will be traveling to go and visit him and will spend three weeks there, see my family and be with them and be able to help them a little bit. So that will be lovely. Danny, since you are a rose lover, we are. <laughs> Try to out your hand on rose, put your hand on Rosa Damascena. I love Rosa Damascena. I haven't tried it. But damask roses, I grow them in my garden and I love them. So I love this idea. Rosa Damascena from Granado, Granado, I think she said. They have three stores in Paris. Rosa Damascena is incredible, like Stella EDP in the dry dark. Super. I found a way to replicate Stella, by the way, with the, with the, in another video. I've done it. You can go and have a look. Anyway, tonight's been lovely once again, even though it's super, super hot. Uh, we've got quite a few people in the room. Um, thank you for joining from wherever you are, from Europe, 
from Prague, from Dublin, from Canada, Toronto, Ontario, uh, New York, Italy, wherever you're joining from. Love having you. Super sizzling hot summer. Why don't you drop down in the comments, let me know what are your top five fragrances that you can't live without. And next week, I'm going to give you my top five roses I can't live without, of course. Another rose video. But uh, roses that are more summer inclined. Thank you for the suggestion, Danny, about Rosa Damashena. I'm definitely going to have a look at that. So once again, just to say goodbye, have a little look here and see if you think you might like any of these absolute beauties. So bye from Italy to all of you. Thanks for joining again. See you soon. Thanks for all your prayers and wishes for my son. And thank you. I wish you a lovely holiday wherever you're going. Danny, you mentioned you might be camping. Enjoy. Wherever you're traveling or camping, go well. Go safely. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Same time, same place. Bye. Thanks for joining. Bye. Bye.